um, who I asked to pretty much said, well, at the beginning of the week, to uh, come and play for us. So when he got the program, he called me and he said, um, where are you going with the music? <laughs> because if you notice, in the bulletin, we begin with praise to God who has set the stars in motion, and then we do this uh, kind of a Native American hymn, uh, many and great are the works or the works of your hands, and we will end with Yezu, Yezu, uh, you know, the servant song. Where are you going with the music? So I said, well, you know, kind of looking at the lectionary here from we've got Job to, uh, to Jesus serving. Deep time, the deep time of Job's, of God in Job. So I, I've devised this, I have not devised it. I heard about it and I brought it to you this morning. This is done in many university ge geological classes. So some of you may have seen this before. But I asked Colette and Daniel if they would help me. So could you come up right now and help me do this? Some of you saw me enter church this morning with a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> this is what it's for. So you're going to take this. According to our geological scientists, the Earth is about four and a half billion years old. Okay, you want to help too, BG? Yeah. All right. So four and a half billion years, right? The universe is far, far older than that. So we're just talking the Earth now. So what we're going to have to do, this is beginning of Earth here. You're going to take that and head on down the aisle there. And, but we have to be really careful that it doesn't tear. Okay? Um, and Daniel, when I, I'm going to hold it like this. And when she gets about to where Miss Sandy is, and you're going to take part of this. <coughs> okay, you want to take some now? Hold on just a minute. Okay, you keep going, keep going, keep going. Now this is all, okay, slow down for just a second. There's, there's geologic time happening here. I'm not going to go through all the eras, okay? We'll leave that to the geological scientists. I think you're going to have to, hold on, hold, stop just a minute. Now you're going to have to wrap around the sanctuary there, okay? You're going to go around the back. BG, you want to take some now? Okay. We've got the earth, you know, we've got, um, again, I'm not going to go through all the eras. Look this up if you want. Keep going. There's nothing here, folks. There's no animals, no plants. You, oops, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. This is what we're looking for. Thank you. All right. BG, you come back here and help me with this. You can just set it down. No, just, just set it down. Okay, we got the earth got born a long time ago, right? Clear around there. BG, you come on up here. Okay, we're going to count 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, you hold right there. Got early fish. Really early fish. Okay? You hold right there. Then we've got early land plants right here. Okay, we count. That's about how, how long ago is that? Early fish, that's 490 million years ago. <coughs> then the land plants, 430 million. Then we come up here, we have early trees, 363 million. Then we come up to nine, right here. We have early birds and mammals. If you read the account of creation in Genesis, you will find that it actually follows this um, progression pretty closely, amazingly enough. We've got early birds and mammals. Then we have flowering plants 160 million years ago. Then three sections from the, the dinosaurs become extinct. 
That's 60 million years ago. And this one is especially for Colette. Two and a half, there's early horses. Two and a half. Okay, from this whole, the earth begins, all the way over here, we've got early horses. 50 million years ago. First use of fire. Okay, now we're at the first, this. Here's the present time, right here, present time. 0.03 of this is the first use of fire. 0.01 is Neanderthal. And 0.00001 is modern human beings. Well, I can't even, okay, right here is the beginning of modern human beings. Isn't that amazing? We are amazing. The gift of life is amazing. So I want you to hold this right here, BG, while I read this. Where were you, God says in Job, where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth all the way back there, when the morning stars sang together and all the heavenly beings shouted for joy? Have you entered into the springs of the sea or walked in the recesses of the deep? Have the gates of death been revealed to you? Or have you seen the gates of deep darkness? Deep darkness, we're talking about. Deep. Long before Colette began here, with the beginning of the earth, 3.6 billion years ago, 3.6 billion, sorry. You know, God said, let there be light. Long, long before this, where were you? Here we are, right here. Does this create awe and humility? Thank you. Thank you, B Colette and Daniel and BG. You can just lay it down right there. And you can go back to your seats now. In Job, we, in God's speech in Job, we begin to get this image of deep time. That's what I wonder. Deep time. Where we were not even anywhere close to um, being here. God is in the business of pouring life-giving rain on places where no human being lives. And as a result, Job, God says in Job, grass grows there and no human ever sees it. In other words, the universe, the universe is far, far larger than we who inhabit it. And much occurs in the design of God that has nothing to do with humans at all. Job cries out because he says, it's not fair. I'm suffering, and I've followed all the rules, and I've worshipped you, and I've done everything, and I'm a good human being, and I am suffering. And, Job, and God, in return, says, you don't even know the full sweep of the universe. I have business that is so far beyond you, you cannot even imagine it. So put it in perspective. Consider the jackals. Consider the grass that grows. Consider the ice in the Arctic. Consider all of these things and put your own suffering, your own life into perspective. So we're, we're much like Job, right? Convinced that our suffering, our needs, <coughs> merit divine intervention. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. And the course of history is altered. The course of disease is altered. But mostly we're brought, just like Job, to our knees. To our knees in understanding that God and life and the universe are so much bigger. And when we take our rightful place, when we come down to where we ought to be, as the old Shaker song says, then we know this peace of God that passes all understanding and that threads through all suffering. 
So, in this little tiny last one thousandth of an inch, less than one thousandth of an inch, we have the disciples coming along, arguing, <laughs> who's the greatest? Does this put it a little bit in perspective here? <laughs> Who is the greatest? And Jesus says, you know, I understand that your animal, your animal instinct drive is to be the king of the hill, to be at the top of the heap. Because you think that that's where it's the safest. You think that that's where your survival is the most guaranteed. But Jesus says, I'm here to tell you that that's not what you, out of all of this creation, is for. You are to be the servants. You are to serve. Your consciousness is to grow and grow and grow into the divinity of Christ so that you serve. And when you take your rightful place, which is in service to others, then you will know your place in all of this magnificence, which is God's universe, God's glory. And you will know that peace that passes all understanding because you will have God living, breathing in you as you serve one another. That's what we're here for. That's what we're really, really here for is to serve. And I'm saying, now, in the whole, all of the light of all of this, Jesus is talking about serving our neighbors, but we now understand that our neighbors are much larger than even other human beings. We are here, as it actually says in Genesis, we are here to serve all of creation to take care of the animals and the plants and the flowers that just started, you know, right around here. <laughs> We're here to be stewards and to serve. In the blessed, powerful, and awesome name of the Creator. Amen. Amen.